sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Re- re- re. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good Monday morning. This is Andrew David Blake, New Bar's partner program. Simple today. What I want you to do is I want you to think a little bit about um, some choices you've made in your life. And we're bringing this up because we've got this challenge going on each and every day right now. You have an opportunity to make decisions about this particular challenge. Now, we, we face a number of decisions throughout the day. The way that we make those decisions is based on what we're accustomed to, what we like doing versus what we aren't doing. It's based on fear. It's based on excitement. When you make any kind of decision in your life, there are all sorts of different factors involved. It requires brain power to make a decision, right? It requires brain power, willpower. Now, some of us are bouncing all over the place and we don't have anything scheduled out. And so in effect, we're making more decisions almost than we need to. And that's part of the reason why we talk about having a schedule or part of the reason we talk about um, why you see guys like Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, like they just have that basic wardrobe. So they don't have to worry about making any decisions there. They can spend their time and focus on making other decisions that mean a little bit more. Michael, congratulations. 42 years old. That's crazy. Michael, I'm 42. Can I, I'm going to start calling you dad. Is that okay? Oh, well, no, I'm too young for that. No, <laughs> your son's 42. What's, what's up? Oh, I guess that would work. Yeah. But I'm not a grandparent. Well, I won't call you Papa grand- or anything. <laughs> um, but <laughs> and Samuel Kirk down 25 pounds. My man, that is fantastic. Good for you. Well done, brother. Anybody else losing some weight? Because that's a big deal. That really is. All Thank you guys. Be water and some basketball. Good for you, man. Well done. Okay. Decisions. Um. All right, I'm going to give you guys this. This is interesting to me. I'm going to just drop it into the chat here, and I can get it into the Skype group later on. This is a link if you want to click on it. Um, maybe I'll just I'll put it into the chat here real quick so that I don't miss it. This is a, a link about decisions. Um, it was just from a study that a guy did. Um, did a, a survey with hundreds of people, six, 700 different people, 20 years to 80 years, different walks of life, looking at the biggest decisions that they've made in your life. So part of your exercise today is going to be sitting down and writing out to this point in your life, the biggest decisions that you've made. And when you think you, when you can remember having made them, okay, biggest decisions that you made in your life. And oftentimes it's based on, on family, who you decided to marry. And that could be for some of us, one, two, and like, it could be more than one. Um, It's, you know, where you went to live, it's where you went to school, it's career choice, maybe a second and a third career choice. It's, you know, health decisions, it's decisions with children, decisions with sickness. There's all sorts of different things that would fit into this category. I want you to create a list of the biggest decisions that you've made. Now, the the link there just kind of gives a, a graph, a chart of when these people made those big decisions, right? And And how they rank them. Because, you know, I'm 42 years of age right now. I'm divorced. I've got kids. So where I rank my biggest decisions at this point is going to be different than where my dad ranks his, right? Michael, where you rank your decisions, they're going to be a little bit different there, you know, and and the value that I put to them, the value that you put to them. Maybe it is that move. Maybe for me, it was, you know, that move from Arizona to Florida when I was 21, and someone else would rate a move to a different state as not as big a deal. So I want you to think about your decisions. Now, part of the reason that I'm having you do this is because I want you to look at decisions that you've made, both ones that affected you positively and maybe ones that were the incorrect decision. Some of those may be simply decisions that made you miss out on opportunity. But I want you to identify those decisions and start to look at what were some of the factors that led you to make the decision. Now, what I truly mean is not just it seemed the right thing at the time. How much do you allow certain emotions to play into your decision? Do you do it because of excitement, because of fear? Are you the type of person that doesn't pay any attention to emotions? You look totally at logic. 
Now, this is going to come into play because tomorrow we're going to get a little deeper into decision making and how we make them and what happens and how we can balance things out, how we can you know, approach the smaller decisions as well, because oftentimes the larger decisions come about because we have made a series of smaller decisions. We can agree with that, right? By small and simple means, like the little decisions that I make each and every day, if I have to make a major health decision, oftentimes it's because I made a lot of little smaller ones to get to a certain point. I made the decision with this, with this challenge. And ultimately where I'm looking at right now, for me, I want this challenge to be the catalyst to turn me into something totally different. So that in 10 years, I look back and go, you know what, this one of the decisions that made the biggest difference in my life was when I was sitting in that you know, house in Austin and the guy, my buddy said, Hey, let's do this 30 day challenge. And I turned it into something that just completely transformed how I was physically, but it strengthened me mentally to the point that I was able to do X, Y, Z. That's kind of where I'm looking right now, but I'm going to look back on these other decisions that I've made moving to Arizona, you know, decision with Sierra, with my fiance decision with the kids you know, all of these other things. But I want you to look at the little decisions that led to it. We're going to dive into those. I want you to look at the major ones for right now. Um, so, Michael, would that include decisions that appeared insignificant at the time but set in motion? Yeah, I think for this particular exercise, yes. We're going to get more into looking at the smaller decisions and how they lead to that tomorrow. And what happens psychologically? Like we're going to break it down the way that I, I like doing it. So we're going to get a little more in depth with some of this stuff. But today, in order to be prepared for that, what I'd like you to do is sit down and look at those 10 things, right? Now, there's a lot of those kind of decisions and sub decisions and everything else. And yes, you can get smaller and smaller. But if I look back, you know, moving to, you know, Florida from Arizona really came about because I said yes to coming out to sell pest control one summer. Right. That led to that. Um, asking my first wife when I decided, you know what, I am going to ask her to marry me. That was that was the decision. It wasn't I'm not looking at the events. OK, and I think that's kind of my, what Michael's talking about here. We're not talking about the single largest events that have happened. Right. Birth of a child is an event. That, you know, romantic dinner that led to the birth of the child might be the decision. You know, but point is, look at the biggest decisions that you've made, the ones that you look at and you go, you know what, that was a hard decision to make. That was the catalyst. That was something that created that change. And did I make it because of because I was scared of something? Right. Some of you guys have went to school and, and got a certain degree, made that decision to go to school and get that degree because of fear of, of repercussions of how your parents may look at you or how society would or scared of, you know, if I came out and didn't have that, right? Am I making sense with what I'm asking you guys to do today? I want you to sit and I want you to look at life a little bit. I want you to look at some of your decisions, write them out. Okay. If you don't come up with 10, that's fine. But if we look just real quick, I'm going to pull this up. Um, this is the link that I put in there. So uh, it could be a good kind of basis to look at to begin with, right? Big life decisions, you can get an idea. So if I look for, you know, I'm in the 40 to 49 men, these are some of the biggest life decisions that some of the, that men at that point would say. It this, I'm just gonna use as a starting point for me personally, okay? Give me some ideas. So create, just look at this for you, okay? And I'll include, um, here, I'll include this article that kind of accompanies it. So you guys have that. If you're not in the Skype group, um, I'm going to put this in the chat here so you can just click on that link. You won't be able to copy and paste it. You need to just click on it and save it. Um, but I want you guys to think about your decisions and then what you often use to make your decisions. Is that clear with everybody? It's pretty simple. Just write down your, your biggest decisions that you've made. Tomorrow, we're going to dive deeper into um, why we make decisions a certain way and how to, I'm going to give you guys some steps to make decisions on a, I don't necessarily want to say better because everybody is so unique, but I'm going to give you some tools that you can use, some steps you can use when you make decisions. How you decide to utilize that will be totally up to you. 
Okay. So for now, guys, I want you to, to sit down, take a few minutes and, and go through that exercise. We only took 15 right now. So take another 15. It may take you five minutes. It may take you an hour, right? Um, I don't want you to spend this time. If you're writing down certain decisions that maybe didn't go well, don't spend the time beating yourself up. It's not the purpose of this exercise. You are in a better place now than you were yesterday. Every single one of you, because you, for the simple fact that you're awake and you have the opportunity to make better and better decisions. Okay. So do not use this time to beat yourself up. Can we all? Yes. I, I promise I will not beat myself up over decisions that have already been made. Okay. I Amen. promise. Good. Make sure you do it. I'm true. That, that's too easy. Maria, how have you been, my dear? What's up? Um, long time no see. Yes, I know. Uh, like two months now? Um, too long. What's going on? Uh, no, I was curious because uh, in the time, in the meantime that I didn't like logged in, in the, into the calls, I uh -huh. missed, uh, like, can I join the Skype group? Like, yeah, right absolutely. Now? Like, yeah. So we got the link to the Skype group. Uh, let me see. There we go. But and uh, will I have like the the whole thing like? Yeah, you, join the group for any of you guys that aren't in there. Just click that, join the group. Go to if um, let me show you guys how to do this. So just in, oh, here, let me on that note. Go do your challenge. Kick it, kick butt. Write out the ten decisions, and then we'll dive in. Sometimes Tomorrow, people have what everybody that they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are.